All right, so today I figured out why my zucchini and my squash plants keep dying. And I thought I would share a little information on why this is happening. And I know a lot of people are also having the same issue. So right here, I got some nice, nice zucchini that I picked about two days ago. And um, shortly after I picked them, I come out here today and I see that the plant that I harvested is looking like it wants to be dead very soon. So I just want to touch bases real quick and explain why this is happening to the plants. All right, so here is the zucchini plant that I just harvested. And as you can see, it's kind of, it's laying down. It's when it should kind of, it should just be sticking up like that. If we come next door to this one, you see it's sticking straight up. It's looking very healthy. And I, but also I want to say I harvested this one too. No, actually I didn't harvest it. So yeah, this one is looking straight up. This one here, another one, it's going straight up. And all the rest of my zucchinis are straight up. But the one that I harvested is not looking so good. And what the problem is, you see right here, this is where my zucchini plant came off. I pulled it off right here and it, look, look at that, there's a little bug right there. So what happens is once you pull your fruit off, it leaves an open wound on the plant. And when that open wound is there, then all the bugs are able to get inside of your zucchini or your squash. And then they just basically have a big party in there with it's ants in there, it's uh, like these little spider mite looking things, beetles in there, Japanese beetles, and those like little white beetles. They all, I mean, I've seen them all in there. Then you got those little red ant thingies, all type of insects and everything get in there. They start having a party, pool slides, all kind of crazy stuff, right? And then next thing you know, your plant's dying and you only harvest it one time, right? And all of this happens right after you harvest. It never happens before the harvest, right? Before you harvest, the plant is in great condition. Right after you harvest, it's like, what is this, a one-time plant, you know? So check it out. So if we look here, we see all of this openness. Let me get these weeds out of here so we can see. Ah, bugs is biting me up. I just got out the pool. So we can see it's very open here, right? And this is exactly where I pulled off my zucchini. If you look at this other little one here, if I was to harvest this one right now, twist it off or pinch it off, it would leave that same type of open wound on that side, right? So to prevent our plant, our plant from dying, what we wanna do is get us like some garden tape or something to cover this wound up because this is no good. A, a plant with a gigantic open wound like this is gonna die in a matter of days, right? I mean, this, this plant will be lucky to make it another week under this condition. And I don't know if my phone is picking it up, but there's all types of little ants up in here. Let me see if I can, if I had, this is a 12 Pro. If I had the 13, I would go macro so you could see it. Matter of fact, my moment lenses are supposed to come in today. I need to check for that. But, um, yeah, I don't know if you can see these little ants. But, yeah, they get up in these open wounds, and this plant, oh, here, you're on the green part, yep. Having a party. But it's this brown part that we want to focus on. Look at them, they're about to go inside. You know, that's the DJ right there. You about to turn it up. So yeah, they get inside of here and they just destroy the plant from within. A lot of people will tell you that these plants die from root rot and stuff like that, but I don't believe in that root rot stuff, right? If root rot happens when there's too much moisture on the roots and they not get enough oxygen and the plant dies. But it's safe to say if your plant is planted in the ground, in the earth, right? Root rot is not an issue. The earth is not going to flood. Now, if you if your plant, look at the dragonfly, it just landed on me. Hey, buddy. <laughs> right. Now, if your plant is planted inside of an impression in the ground, like you know below the rest of the ground level, then yeah, you are susceptible to root rot. But if your plant is is raised above, you know, kind of high on the dirt, root rot is not an issue, and that goes for any plant. 
All right, so that's you can rule that out immediately. Most of the time when plants rot or have spots and, and things like that, it's because of insects, some type of bug or insect. So what we want to do is we just want to get some tape and we want to close up that incision. If I mean, I don't even know if it's salvageable at this point. Like it wasn't this bad um, two days ago when I picked it. So as a general rule of thumb, goodness, I'm getting ate up by these bugs. Mm. As a general rule of thumb, with zucchini and squash, we want to say right after you harvest, we want to close up that wound or we want to be a lot more careful when we do harvest not to create these wounds like that because that is no good. This plant, I don't know if it's salvageable at this point, but going forward, I know I can save my other zucchinis from this issue and that way we can have us a healthy zucchini plant that'll make it through the summer and continue to produce a fruit so we can eat all year, right? Now these are my zucchinis, I showed you these. And we'll go to my squash, which I planted before the zucchinis, and they pretty much done. So all of this was squash, but it's gone now. And we got one squash plant here. Got a little squash down there. Oh, whoa. Well, I'm not even gonna count that as a squash. And yeah, I really haven't even been checking on these squashes because I thought they were all dead. Let me get these some of these. Let me get some of these weeds up out of here. We want to be careful when we pull these weeds up too, not to take up too much dirt. And if we get too much root, we just want to make sure we shake them, shake them off a little bit, keep that dirt in there, you know, because I just created an impression in the ground. If you see it's high up here and then it goes lower. But yeah, they done completely got inside of this squash right here. Same type of bug. So this is no good. I can essentially take this fruit off, but if I do take it off, I'm still gonna have that same issue because it's an open wound. So we wanna eliminate all the open wounds that we can. This is gonna cause this plant to die right here. That, so that's one way they can get into the fruit or they'll get into the stem. Now I'm a little out of breath because I just got out the pool and I've been swimming some laps. So, you know, it's what it is. But yeah, so this, this zucchini is actually not looking too bad. This weed can get up out of here so we can see. Get up out of there, get up out of there, all y'all can go. Yeah, so this one is actually not looking too bad. I thought I lost all my zucchinis, but I guess we got a couple still kicking. So that's cool. And another one right here, also not looking too good. Let me get these weeds out, oops. Yeah, you gotta be careful pulling these weeds up because you will pull up your plant and then you'll be the reason why it didn't survive. And we don't want that to happen. So yeah, this one here, yeah, this one is probably done. It, it's probably no saving this. Stems are yellow. You know, it's, it's, it's not much we can do here. More weeds, get up out of there. Yeah, so that is, I'm not even gonna try to salvage that. Just let that one go. But this is a good one here. So I wanna try to save this one if I can. So yeah. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get some type of garden tape or something like that and close these wounds up, you know, and try to keep our zucchinis and our squashes going. Cause it would be nice to harvest them more than one time. You know what I mean? It just sucks to harvest your plant one time and then it dies. Like, that's no fun at all. So we wanna we want keep it going. I just thought I'd touch bases on that real quick because I just discovered this issue today. And like, that's clearly the issue, you know? So sometimes we want to figure out what's wrong with our plant. We just have to come out here and observe them. Just watch the plants grow. And we'll learn so much more than by guessing or, you know, watching videos like these. You know, just go out and observe your plant. Maybe it has the same issue as mine. Maybe it has something different. But if you observe it, you'll see exactly what's wrong with your plant every time. Just by the observation of the plant. But yeah, I just wanted to touch on that real quick. You know, we'll be back with some more videos, maybe some updates on the zucchinis. Holla.